Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. And today we are going to be making three rental homes on this residential rental lot that I made in Willow Creek. I just thought this lot was perfect. It was just big enough to fit a couple homes on it. I did call them townhomes in the video description, but I guess they're really more just like long ranch style homes or I guess kind of along the lines of a shotgun style home. They're not quite because the interior floor plan is not the same as a shotgun style home, but I called them townhomes just just for the sake of fitting the name in the description box on the gallery. So here I am just making the boxes. It's very easy. I just kind of made the same basic shape and then gave them different size bump outs, which I do end up changing again anyway. And then I fence off their little portion of yard and try to make it make sense in the sense of like having enough room inside the house for multiple bedrooms in a couple of them and also enough living space because I did want it to be very functional and not too cramped but these are pretty tiny homes in the long run they're on a large lot but they end up being smaller homes on the inside they all have everything that you need though they have you know full functioning kitchens bathroom uh, living room dining room space some of them have outdoor dining it ends up being really cool so i hope that you enjoy it and if you do please be sure to like and subscribe so you see all of my videos and also turn on those notifications because i always forget to remind you <laughs> but turn on all those notifications so that you are reminded when i upload a new one i'm probably going to be having to take not a break but i'm going to have to be uploading less uh often than i currently do because i have other things i need to focus on as well uh you know in real life but I will still try to maintain, you know, at least a couple a month because I want to try to keep up with some sort of schedule. I just got to work my time around a little bit. Here you'll see I'm breaking out a lot of Strangerville for the columns and the spandrels and the fences on the front porch. And I believe all the windows that I use on these homes are also from Strangerville. And then I went about picking out the colors. I wanted them to be very colorful homes, but I wanted it to not be super duper bright. Like I still wanted it to be like suburban colorful homes, not like you know no rainbow homes on this one but still we have like a light pinky beige and then a beautiful greenish blue tone and then a purple all the way on the side and I think that it just looks really nice and it's a little different than what I usually do I actually prefer to use more of like stone or brick textures rather than the siding but here I went with just the siding because it came in so many fun colors and I wanted to give it a shot and then here I'm moving around some doors because I did want the main home like the beigey pinkish home is going to be for the property owner and I wanted her home to have have like the big double door and then the other homes to have the single door because I think it just gives a little bit more something to the build because there's not a whole lot of room on the front porch I did not use the typical like mailboxes that go on the wall on the porches instead I did give them regular mailboxes and they end up being next to each of their porches instead over here I'm making a lovely side porch for the property owner with some stairs so this is where her only dining space is going to be but she does end up having an island I just didn't record it so I do show it in the screenshots and uh, I think that you'll really enjoy that I didn't think I was going to be able to fit an island in the kitchen at first so I didn't put it there but then after some play testing I gave it a shot and it looked really nice so I hope you like that when you do eventually see it but here you'll see I'm making like a little pergola kind of extension piece over her side porch and then what I had to do was delete the little floor tiles that popped in and then I changed up the roof so that it wouldn't cut in to the pergola style and then I broke out the little glass like whole things the whole covers that come with uh, island living and I put them on top of these pergolas because I wanted it to still be covered from the elements but I wanted you to be able to see through to you know to see the rest of the world around you so I thought that that was a nice touch and they actually fit perfectly it was like just enough tiles which I did not plan out at first so I was happy about that <laughs> and then adding some stairs to the second home as well and then just repeating this porch onto all of the homes I do end up shrinking the other two homes little side porches a little bit on each side because I needed more space because the middle home ends up having two bedrooms and then the far purple home has only one bedroom 
but it has a bigger kitchen space. So did have to change up the size on those a little bit, but I still think it looks really nice. So I hope you enjoy that as well. Now we're adding some little chimney pieces. There are no fireplaces in these builds. Um, I just really like the way the chimney looks. So I didn't mind putting a little fake chimney on there. I just thought it looked really cool. I did not add any fireplaces to these homes. So technically that chimney is just fake chimney. But if you would like to download this off the gallery and you decide to put in a fireplace, now you already have a chimney as long as it decides to stay there because it, they did keep deleting themselves as they usually do. Uh, anytime I change anything on the inside, it was a lot of fun, but we know how that goes. And here I am just adding some doors. The only door that is different is on the property owner's home. She has the door that came with nifty knitting with like the crocheted flowers on it I thought those were really pretty so gave her that door but the rest of them have the door from laundry day to go to their little side porches I thought that was just oh, I just love that door it's like perfect little porch door and then in here in the property owner's home we're going to be starting because I wanted to get a basic feel for the layout we have the kitchen set up going in I was just trying to get a basic idea of the floor plan we are using home chef hustle cabinets upper head cabinets and appliances and then we are just trying to figure out what we're going to do with these cabinets i did want to use that corner shelf piece but i didn't know what else i wanted to use because of this very large window that i have here and then i end up replacing it with an even larger window this one from strangerville i really really like that window and i just thought it was perfect it just looks out over the whole street and I just thought, it's just very 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 large so i didn't want to block it off with any uh, upper head cabinets instead i use this curtain that's just from base game and I think that it frames that window very nicely also the sink and dishwasher from home chef hustle and then I add the flooring from growing together in this uh, tan herringbone tile I thought that was really pretty and then I'm throwing in this couch from growing together as well I didn't know which orientation I wanted it to be in for the longest time but I do end up flipping it a little because I didn't like how when you first walk in it was just like looking straight at like the side of the couch I thought it looked a little silly so instead I had the couch face the far wall and then I put a little tiny console table right here so I could clutter it up with a bunch of entryway stuff and I also threw in a little ottoman over here off to the side near where the coat rack is and I thought about putting some shoes down there as well so you might see them kind of pop up in the footage but I did not put any shoes by the door because I thought it just made it look a little too cluttered and like messy I think that this property owner likes to keep her home neat she has a uh, no trash overload rule for her tenants so I thought that maybe she would be pretty neat and put together everything has its place in her home and then we have some base game uh, I think that's the above deck wallpaper I really like that it just comes in so many nice colors now since the update right before horse ranch I just really love that and a very nice light green color and then a uh, cats and dogs I believe rug in the entryway right in front of the door and then I decided to add some plants and this little plant stand from Bloom and Rooms I really like that I haven't really used it too much recently I used to use it all the time when that pack first came out but I threw a bunch of plants on there because I think she also enjoys plants and she wants it to be kind of hiding that view from the very tall window a little bit and also now the plants get plenty of sunlight in that spot and then over here I put <laughs> I use this little lighthouse light that I don't normally use but I put it right here on the entryway table as well as a little coin jar with some notes and such. I think that's really fun. And then a little selection of books that she can pull from as her bookshelf. And then just like a little picnic basket thing just to look cute. It really has no other purpose in this build, just, just to look cute. And then over here, I did need to add a rug. So I pulled out this one from Growing Together as well because it matches nicely with everything else in the room. And I just used Tool Mod to size it down and get it to fit exactly how I wanted. Now over here, the little entertainment center that we make is using this coffee table from Growing Together and then the little shelf thing from high school years, as well as these wall shelves from the Cozy Bistro kit. I think that this wood tone across all three matches really nicely. So I thought we would just make a little custom entertainment center type of thing. We have a tiny little apple picture and some books on over to the side, but I will end up cluttering that up later. I also pulled out some puzzles and games like this little chess piece set and put that over here. Maybe she enjoys games and such. Maybe she likes to play games with her guests when they come over. 
I decided that would be a fun spot to put it. And then also this vintage camera, which is, I believe, a career unlock from, oh, I forget what it's from. It's from one of the careers and I'm not sure, but I decided that would look really nice right there. Maybe she like collects antiques and that's just something she has on display. I also put a little pencil cup in here because I thought that would be nice to have near like the board games and such, like when you're filling out the little scorecards on certain board games, or if you're marking how long it took you to complete a puzzle or something, I thought that was fun. So I threw that in there as well. And here's a little remote from the debug menu, another selection of plants and also those squirt bottles that came with the greenhouse haven kit because maybe that's how she waters her indoor plants she uses like some squirt bottles and some like plant food spray and all kinds of fun stuff i thought it looked nice right here on the table it just made it look a little less empty and then i just pushed that table in ever so slightly to make it look like it was all one continuous thing and a tiny little light from the cozy bistro kit on top of that shelf as well now we're going to work on her side porch and we do have a little base game dining table and then the chairs which i think are from get together as well as a little lantern from my wedding stories and then some curtains in the living room also base game just very simple and beige and plain nothing too crazy in here this is like the least colorful of the homes i think but uh, i really enjoyed the very muted tones and how it's just kind of relaxing this property owner doesn't want to be you know around too much excitement i think she enjoys her solitude and she only comes out really when uh, when her tenants need her uh, otherwise she would rather just invite her friends over here she doesn't really go many places she likes everything kind of quiet and clean and put together she's one of them she's kind of like me um <laughs> and then we have some pillows over here one is from the modern lux kit and then one is from the reward things the login rewards that we got and then of course I added my little teddy bear I always put this on every couch and like love seat area that I end up putting the pillows on just because I think it looks really cute so also expanding the kitchen a little bit with these floor tiles and then I use this little low-lying fence from get to work because I wanted to kind of give it a threshold separation from the rest of the living space and I did change it to a different tone because the bright white was a little too much also the ceiling light is from growing together I think it looks really nice in here. And then just finishing up the cabinetry because I still hadn't quite decided what I wanted to do, but I think it's just very simple. It's just on either side of the kitchen. It doesn't cut across, so it doesn't block that window, which I thought was nice. We have a little dish rack and also a hanging dish set because I thought that was decorative. Again, like kind of vintage. Maybe she found it at a thrift store, so she hung it up there. And then we have some more Home Chef Hustle accessories going in over here on the counter. We have the knife block, the spices, and also the scale for measuring out ingredients. I think she really enjoys home cooking and also entertaining guests when they come over to her home. And then we have a little cookbook over here as well and a cutting board from Cool Kitchen stuff. I also threw in the utensils that are mounted to the wall from Cool Kitchen. Can't forget our smoke detector. And then we have a little picture in the hallway there. And over here by the sink, we have just our basic soap pump. Now we're gonna work in the bathroom. It comes together very quickly. The sink is from growing together as well as the shower because we all love that shower. And then I use that towel rack from the Riviera Retreat kit, I believe it is. And then I threw in this lovely wallpaper from Growing Together as well. And I think the mirror might be from high school years, if I remember correctly. And some soap and toothpaste cup, just like I always use. I think I also threw the plunger and the toilet paper roll here. I tried to keep it all in that matching uh, black fixture swatch because I wanted it to, you know, all go together nicely. Also a little flower and candle and roll of toilet paper on the back of the toilet because I wanted to fill up that space so plates don't end up there. And some hanging towels on the wall from Spa Day and my basic bathroom ceiling light. And I also clutter up this little towel rack here with some more bathroom clutter stuff, like some little towels and lotions, perfume bottles <laughs> and such, uh, just to make it look really lived in and really like well-utilized space. Because like I said, I think that this property owner is very intentional with putting everything away and everything having its own spot so that she doesn't have to feel stressed about anything. I can imagine she's probably very stressed with all of the uh, events that pop up from her tenants at their rentals. I, can, I was having a heck of a time playing with that when I first got the pack. I was 
well, I, I think I was over it very quickly. So I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to build them instead. I don't know if I'm going to play in them. And then here we have her bedroom coming together. It is a lot of dream home decorator and high school years because I love the combination of the end tables and the dresser in this room and in that swatch because it's just so nice. And then I threw some clutter up on her dresser. We have like a little box for keeping mementos and such and a little makeup tray. There's also a lovely hanging plant. And then for the curtains, I use these ones from Dream Home Decorator as well. But I do have to size them down over here on this window and then use Tool Mod to lower them. Because for some reason, they don't have a skinny uh, curtain that comes in Dream Home Decorator that isn't super tall. Um, not 100% sure why. But I have to always use Tool Mod and size it down and then lower it when I have to use it for small windows. I don't very strange and then we have some paintings on the wall also from dream home decorator just because i thought the walls needed a little something more and a stand-up mirror over here this time i made sure it was not facing the bed because i that struck me as odd last time and i want to have to deal with that situation again and then we also have a little ottoman next to the window for her i'm um, just in case she wants to set out her clothes for the next day and then over here we're going to start on some landscaping we have a lot of bushes going in and of course my favorite little corner tree thing that i always use to cover up the corners of the buildings just because i think they're ugly and then we have <laughs> some hydrangeas because I really enjoy those. I think I only put them in the very front of this build and then I threw in some of these little tiny rose bushes and I think that she was very careful about the landscaping around her um, property because she just wanted it to look very clean and neat and just a few little you know bushes evenly spaced of course and then I do use more of these bushes from get together I do size them down a little bit because they're a little too big and then I threw in some lavender just to kind of frame them around these corner trees because again I just wanted to add a little bit of color but nothing too crazy now here I was thinking that the yards were very very small and I didn't want to run out of space to put like outdoor activities so instead I grabbed Grab this debug fence piece from Strangerville and then I just kind of made it work with the other fencing so it is a little lower than the regular fencing that you have from Strangerville but I use this little corner tree again to just cover it up where there is no fence so that nobody can like walk through exactly and it just kind of hides it a little bit but it also gives them a lot more space in their backyard and this way you can put the fence like right up against the line of the property and not one tile in from the end of the property which always bugs me I wish that we could put it right at the end of the property but you know I understand things have to be placed on a grid it's fine it's fine and then some bushes right in between the homes just to kind of fill up that gap I didn't really know what else to put there anyway I thought about putting a gate but it actually did not work because it, you can't place a gate on a half tile you have to put it on one single tile and it kept wanting to jump up to the foundation height it just wasn't working so then back here working on the backyard of the property owner just throwing in some planter pots and then I also throw in some more flower bushes hydrangeas and these lovely little like bulbousy bush things I think those are also from debug menu and I repeated that for all the homes because I wanted to make sure it was kind of cohesive and then I broke out some more greenhouse haven stuff so this little table with a bunch of starters on it, I think she enjoys having a little garden, maybe growing some of her own fresh herbs and vegetables and stuff. So I put a little storage box here for like seeds and whatnot. And then I pulled out a bunch of seedlings to place on the table and I had to use alt placement to kind of get them where I wanted them to be. And I wanted it to look very like organized, almost like too organized because I think that's just the way she is. And then more of these large pots down here in like assorted colors and shapes and stuff because I think that's just so nice to have available as a clutter item, especially when you're using it for a greenhouse or a garden space. Also this flower arrangement in the watering can which I don't get to use very often it's kind of you know on the nose but I thought that it looked really nice here and then a little tiny light on a stool which is from I think the live edit menu for cottage living and I think it's really really nice I was trying to not make this place too expensive of course it has three homes that are fully furnished so it ends up being a little pricey but i didn't want the rent to be too high for your tenants if you download this a lot and then we're just going to add some terrain paint we're not finished with this home yet we are going to come back to it i think and add some final touches but i was just getting the terrain paint down to get a final idea of what I wanted to do. Also a little hanging flower basket over here on the front porch because I just think it's very pretty and I wanted to add some personality to it. And then a little 
light, which I believe is from Seasons. I actually like that light a lot. It's very versatile. And on the front porch, I wanted to add just a little tiny chair, like a little patio chair. At first, I was going to put the two, but they didn't fit there very nicely. They're kind of clipping in the window. And a little topiary tree, just because. Now we're going to start on the middle home, the green home, and I am automatically shrinking down their little porch space, so <laughs> poor them, but it's okay because they end up having more space in their kitchen that way, and I think that that is worth it, and they also have a little bit of a wider roof piece here because, you know, to accommodate for the wider space inside the home. Here I go replacing my chimneys again, <laughs> and then we are working on the floor plan. We have the little bathroom and two bedrooms. The rest of the space does get split like right down the middle this front space ends up being the living room space and then the rest of it is kitchen and there really is no dining except in the backyard but they'll probably end up sitting on the couch and eating their food anyway so it doesn't really matter you don't really need a dining space for sims especially if there's only two of them in a household they'll probably just end up sitting in front of the tv because they just autonomously do that and then we have the little entryway table going in which i believe is from eco lifestyle and then i decided to close this off and add a little archway from base game to the kitchen space here i was working around the doors for a really long time because i didn't know exactly what i wanted to do but then i picked out the parenthood counters with the blue wood swatch on the bottom and then the marble on top i don't use this one very often i think i only used it when the pack first came out a long long time ago and i wanted to make like an all blue house and man that was a lot of fun but i decided to use it here because i think that the tenant who lives here is a single mom and she has a daughter and she's about to be a teen like I think she's still a child technically but she's about to age up to a teen so her room is more teenage oriented she doesn't have any toys in there it's just a computer and then she has her dresser and mirror and stuff so that is why I made this townhome very colorful and kind of whimsical and very fun because I think that the two of them together they just have a lot of fun together and they are very carefree and kind of artsy and kind of fun so that was my idea for this household I also threw in a little instant pot because I think for a mom they having a little ready cooker thing there <laughs> either a slow cooker or an instant pot is a must-have also a microwave which i place under this large pantry cabinet thing and i just have to size it down one click it still works just fine in case you were wondering and then over here we have the bathroom i'm just going to repeat the same stuff from the other home i'm just going to change up the swatches a little bit because i wanted it to be ever so slightly different but you know pretty much pretty much keep it simple keep it the same and now for mom's room, we are just going to place the bed for now. I knew I wanted to use this bed because it's really fun. It's like purple with like leaves and green colors and yellow tones. I just really like that. And then for the daughter, we have this very purple and blue and white bed. And I picked out this dresser from high school years. I couldn't figure out where I wanted to put it for the longest time, but I do end up putting it by the door. And also this mirror from Parenthood because it's in so many fun swatches. And I think I did decide on the blue one because it's just a little different than all the purples and then we have the end table from high school years and then the desk from city living the little one tile desk and then the chair from high school years as well for the desk chair and a little laptop a little pink one from strangerville because why not threw that in the room as well so that she would have somewhere to do homework or do research or you know go on social media because that's what they do <laughs> and then we have the tile getting figured out of course i use the home chef hustle tile again in here just in a different swatch and then in the kids room we we have some wallpaper going in with all these flowers and then the rest of the walls are just this regular purple paint. I didn't want it to be too overwhelming. I didn't want it to be too much pattern because the bed is already very bright and vibrant. So we have a light going on the end table. That one is from high school years and then I thought it was just way too dark in here so I did pick out a ceiling light in a little bit. But first we have this little selection of artsy skateboards going on the wall to show that this girl is very, very artistic and kind of quirky. And then another rug from high school years with the stars and like the gradient blue and purples. I just really like that. And then this very simple curtain from base game in a white swatch. It fits perfectly over these two windows in her room. So I just thought it was exactly what we needed. And then we're gonna work on mom's room. She has a very bright and cheerful yellow in her bedroom. And then the rug is purple. That is from high school years as well. And so is the dresser in that matching purple. I just kept it, like I said, very colorful, very fun. I think these 
uh, Sims are very good friends, even though they are mom and daughter. I think they do everything together. Maybe they coordinate paint colors and such, and they help each other when they're renovating rooms, when they move to their different homes, because I assume that they pretty much constantly rent, and they're just looking for the right fit. And over here, we have these end tables going in. They are also from high school years. They match really well with the bed. I think they're supposed to come as a set. And then we have a candle tray on the one end table, and then another light from Modern Lux on the other end table. I think that the asymmetry of it is very fun and very quirky. Also, a little construction guy uh, <laughs> calendar on the wall next to her laptop because I just that was just funny to me. And then a ceiling light from a cozy bistro kit. Simple light in the kitchen, just base game. And then in the bathroom, we add this lovely mirror from Get Together and the tiny living bathroom shelf. Repeated the same curtain in a different swatch for the bathroom. And then I think we are going to add a little towel here underneath the window. I just raised it up a little bit with a nine key and a little base game rug in front of the toilet. This room is very simple and not super colorful. That's the only room in the house really that's not super colorful. It's just very tan and beige and a little bit of a splash of green. I also put their bathrobes outside the door, like mounted to the wall because I thought that was a nice touch. They have an outdoor trash can in the back, but every house has an outdoor trash can in the front as well. I just use the base game one. Here's all their mailboxes going in as well. I just wanted to make sure they all had enough uh, trash cans to use in their homes as well as outside their homes. And now we're gonna work on the living room. This room gave me the most trouble. I didn't know what kind of color scheme I wanted to go with, especially with these couches, cause I kinda had an idea I was gonna use these bright pink couches just cause they're so fun. And they have like that bright orange blanket off to the one side of the couch. But I do end up changing the swatch of them later on because I just couldn't really envision it. It wasn't really doing it for me. But the console table you see here in front of the TV is from Desert Lux. And then we have a hanging plant from Nifty Knitting and then regular base game plant over to the other side a little book selection some more plants going in here on the underside of this table because I wanted to keep it really like full and like youthful looking also this little section of books with the little bunny on the one side just because it's fun and again a kid lives here with her mom so I think they have a lot of fun with their decorating. They don't take it too seriously. A little painting on the wall over here just for fun. And then some more paintings on this side. We just use this one here from Dream Home Decorator because I like all of the colors in it. I think it ties together really nicely. Did lower this mirror down from Seasons a little bit with Tool Mod. And then I added this flower arrangement, which I think is from Perfect Patio. And then we have a little flower arrangement from Paranormal going in, as well as this decorative bowl thing from Dream Home Decorator. I don't know what that is, but it just looked really cool in this room and it was pink, so I thought it worked. Another one of these large ottoman benches here in front of the window. Again, I just like having a little seat near the door, like this is where you can sit and put your shoes on kind of thing or take them off at the end of the day. And then these curtains again from Dream Home Decorator. I do have to size them all down because they don't fit on these darn windows, but it's okay because I like how they look when they don't touch the floor. I don't really like my curtains to touch the floor in real life so I don't have any right now though so it's fine and then we have more of these lights going in I just repeated the same one from the bedroom and here I am changing the swatch on the couch and chair and the rugs and then I think I switch up the rug all together for this one from dream home decorator just because it gave some kind of pattern and it wasn't quite so boring and then I added some wall plants on either side of this painting and just kind of tried to center them a little bit on the wall and I think that's pretty much it for the living space and we have have our soap pump going in in the kitchen and the little dish rack that mounts above the sink. I thought that was a nice touch for in here. Another knife block and spice rack from Home Chef Hustle, obviously. And then this growing together uh, little curtain to go in the kitchen on the windows. I did have to use like all placement and get them just where I wanted them. And then here in the backyard, we have their little dining space. So I use this table and chair set that came with the cozy bistro kit and I just change up the color. I really like this like salmon pink color back here. I think it ties in the colors on the inside. I threw in some lounge chairs as well because maybe they like to sunbathe together or relax and read together. I thought that was just a fun thing to throw in. And then we also have some flowers. I do love these black eyed Susans that came with 
cottage living debug and also these ferns so I threw them all around I was trying to get a feel for how I was going to landscape all of the backyards because I know there's only three and I already did most of the other one but I wanted them to be a little bit cohesive like not exactly the same but just you know I wanted them to look like they go together and then I add this large rock rug underneath the dining table because I thought that was a nice addition and some of these yard lights but I decided to raise them up with a nine key to make it look like they're coming out of the posts so I do that with the other homes as well just to give a little bit more light on the outside of the homes to their very tiny yards here I am adding more of these lights here to the property owners lot and then I also added a lovely little path this little cobblestone path back to her garden space because I thought that was a nice touch as well I like using this terrain paint I think the most for paths because I think it's the most realistic to use and then I threw some dirt on top just to kind of blend it in so it wasn't quite so bright green on the rest of the grass because the rest of the grass is not super bright green it's more of a muted green again I really wish they gave us more swatches for grass in this game but here we are working on the front porch and then we should be all finished up with the middle home so I added the the same lights I used from the property owner's front porch and then a little tiny bohemian couch from the high school years pack and this little lemon tree thing that came with the Riviera retreat kit because I thought it was fun and cute. Now we're going to work on this one. This is definitely the most interesting and it gave me the most trouble uh, because I wanted there to be a kitchen space on this little corner bump out kind of space and it kind of leads into when you first come in to the home like it's it's like as soon as you get in the entryway you look over to your right and you see the kitchen so it's kind of interesting and then we have a little dining table there everything in here is from for rent except the stove and the fridge they are from growing together as well as the range hood but all of the cabinetry is from for rent in a standard swatch I didn't go too crazy with it I did use gold appliances though and gold fixtures on everything so that it would match the cabinet fixtures and I I always do that I don't like to use like silver sinks or black sinks when the fixtures on the cabinets are gold it makes my selection very very difficult but I also decided to change out the windows and use these same skinny fun windows from Strangerville like I had on the property owner's home because I really like how it makes the entryway look and then some tile on the back splash for the kitchen and some of these little itty bitty windows from strangerville and i just placed them right where i wanted them and i added the wood flooring like i used in the rest of the homes and here's a little tiny two-seater couch in the living room i did put this like tv console stand from tiny living in the living room for now and then I threw in this bed from the for rent pack as well as the end tables. This bedroom is mostly for rent, I believe. I think I used the dresser from for rent as well. I made this a few days ago, so I'm trying to rack my brain of what exactly I did in here. I did add the mirror from Growing Together and a little light from for rent, and I think like a little trinket box and some perfumes and such. I might add a plant pretty soon. I just try to keep it really, really simple. I also added a notebook and some glasses, that's right, because I wanted it to be like, that's their landing pad and that's where they drop all of their stuff at the end of the day before they go to bed but this home I think the person who lives here is like a world traveler or maybe it's two sims and they both like to travel so they bring home a lot of goods maybe they've recently went to Tomerang so they brought a bunch of stuff home from there I think they enjoy bright colors and just having fun I don't know if there's if they're younger sims like young adult or adult or maybe they're even elders and they just enjoy traveling and doing their own thing and being independent and just you know exploring the sims world together so that's kind of the direction i was going with this home very colorful and lively we have the desk from dream home decorator and then the chair from high school years and i did add this little tiny like shelf kind of bump out thing to hide the computer desk and squish it in there and my sim had no problem getting to the computer so that is a good thing little desk light from tiny living as well in that white swatch and then i add a lovely rug underneath where the dining table is from for rent and then more of these cozy bistro curtains on the windows and then over here they have a little selection of paintings i think they brought home from tomerang <laughs> i think that's just a fun addition and some plants as well just kind of scattered throughout it's not quite as plant filled as the other apartments but i did try to keep like a theme of plant friendly in this home and i just love all these wall decorations and i haven't gotten to use them yet 
because they just usually don't fit in my builds but I really like them here and I also use this light here this is also where I added the little island right here in the kitchen so that there is two dining spaces inside the home which is different than the other homes I was excited to try something different for this floor plan so I broke out the stools from the for rent pack and with this orange swatch on the tops of them I thought they were really pretty and then I used these lights over top to just kind of center it all together and more lights in the entryway and then I think I just add this little shelf that came with for rent because it has some plates and some plants on it I just thought it looked perfect there and a little dish rack over here near the sink because again I just thought that was perfect right where it was I believe they do not have a dishwasher in this home either which is kind of sad but it's okay because I think it's only two sims like I said one to two sims and they don't really mind doing their own dishes little trash can from snowy escape I placed there in the corner so that I would not forget and then we have some more of these cool kitchen tools going in behind the stove a little plant in the middle from dine out and a little bowl of fruit and that's pretty much it for now and in the bathroom we have this lovely base game gold mirror i thought it was really pretty the wallpaper is from high school years it's very art deco and fun and the flooring is from growing together they have a little medicine cabinet and some toilet paper on the back of the toilet and i believe i use the candle again as well and then I just realized that all the windows were up too high, so whoops. Adding some more of these curtains in the bathroom because I really like that. And then squishing the shower into the wall a little bit so that you can see more of the bathroom tile. I thought that was important. And then I use this base game towel rack and I just kind of use tool mod to raise it up a little bit, hide some of that very ornate brass work I thought it was a little much but I did hide that a little bit in the window itself and then a big floor standing light from tiny living in the primary bedroom and then we have the chest table going in the back and then back here in their backyard I have made a little altar space with an outdoor couch and an outdoor chair and I just cluttered it up with a bunch of landscaping and then finished off the whole lot with these bushes that go all the way around and some of these trellis pieces that came with high school years I believe as well because I just think it needed a little something more and I thought that it would help to tie together all of the builds on this lot so here's just a little bit more terrain paint and then we are going to get into the live mode footage and then these screenshots so here's the rest of those lights going in on the posts i think these came together really nice i also put out some for rent signs in front of the other two homes and then i decided to i guess start this in fall because why not it is fall where i am so i thought it was really pretty with the light coming in in willow creek and i did play test this my property owner sim had no problem getting in and around all of the homes and sitting in all of the chairs and using all of the appliances etc so i hope that you enjoyed this one and if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment what you'd like to see next i am going to be working on the renovation of the mexico city vestendad very very shortly i just started doing a little bit of preliminary footage but it's going to take me a second to get that done so if you see a couple others pop up before then that is why it's because that one's going to take me a while to really nail down but i hope you enjoyed this thanks so much for joining me here today and i'll see you guys next time Bye, guys.